Okay, YouTube, a uh, quick update here on the aquaponics setup. Uh, let's see. These are cucumbers. They're doing well now that they've uh, gotten past this two inch gap here I have <clears throat> between the top of the container and the hydro tent. Made them a little leggy. Um, but you can see they've it greened up. They were looking a little yellow before. <clears throat> I think the grow bed's getting a little more cycled now. Um, the lettuce wasn't doing much before. In fact, there was one death here, and now it's, it's growing and doing well. The garlic has gone crazy. That's uh, It's got to be a full foot there. <clears throat> and the peas continue to reach for the top of the trellis. Um, the fish, the fish have gotten a little bigger. The catfish continue to grow very quickly and have outgrown living under the filter of the pump. They're actually over here now under that piece of PVC or in the piece of PVC. Um, <clears throat> they eat quite a bit, the catfish do. I've also got, I've also noticed the water line on the tank has turned into uh, a little bit of algae, like a scum line, but it hasn't progressed up or down. I've also got <clears throat> algae growing on the uh, exposed surfaces of the tank uh, on the PVC there and you can see a lot of it on the, on the pumps outlet um, so I guess I'll continue to monitor that all my nitrate <clears throat> nitrate and ammonia levels are the same uh, running zero nitrate, uh, 0.5 nitrate, and, or I'm sorry, 5 nitrate and 0.5 ammonia. <clears throat> that hasn't changed at all. What has changed, though, uh, is the pH. The pH is now very alkaline at uh, 8, 8.0. I don't know if that's because <clears throat> the fish are getting larger because I haven't changed my feeding schedule or because the tank is is getting cycled and has more um, bacteria growing you know breaking down the different element uh, compounds uh, but anyway the alkal the uh, pH has changed uh, to more alkaline uh, over here this is extremely crowded on my grow beds. I'll have to do something with those cucumbers, but not right now. The red cabbage is doing well. It's uh, sprouted a, a secondary leaf there, which is good. Good sign. This is a zucchini, summer squash. Doing very, very well. I had to kind of mound up the hydrogen to give it a little support. Um, that's a red cabbage. This is broccoli. The broccoli has split off and has secondary leaves. Uh, these two. And for comparison, these broccoli here and this yogurt tuck were <clears throat> transplanted at the same time out of the cedar. Uh, so uh, that's a jalapeno pepper. But this here is broccoli. And that's broccoli. So I'd say the ones on the windowsill in the dirt are maybe an inch longer, taller. Um, these peas are continuing to grow. They met the first run. And the other peas have climbed almost all the way to the top. I think that about wraps it up. <clears throat> uh, the only thing I can think of right now is... Um, 
the lagginess of this was probably due to, I'm indoors and it was the lack of sun trying to reach these windows here. Um, so I think what I'm going to do on a future build, I kind of did this backwards. I built my standpipe and my bell siphon first and then I filled the hydrogen to compensate. I think what I'll do next time is have the hydrogen be much closer to the top of the grill bed and start with a longer standpipe and bell that I need and uh, cut off the necessary material to adjust the water line. But anyway, um, things in here are going much better than they are in my outdoor raised grow beds because I don't know what I'm doing out there. <clears throat> A lot of what I put out there didn't get hardened and uh, and it just died. <laughs> Pretty much lost all my lettuce and my basil and red cabbage, which I've reseeded. Um, and anyway, that's about it. Okay.